It's a uh, wacky anime what if here. Here's present you with what if Deku had a yandere quirk part 7. Let's get into it. Currently, Izuku Midoriya is in the dining room eating his breakfast just calmly. And then he hears the doorbell ring. He walks to the door, door looks through the peephole, sees nothing. He opens the door and sees Hisoka just right there, just staring at him. And he says, hello there. And immediately, Izuku just has a blank face and says, why hello there? Jinro Kenobi, he says that, and then Hisoka just looks at him, just head tilts, and Izuku just closes the door very quickly, deadbolts it, locks it, just puts a couch in front of it, and Shrimp just says, Mom, I'm going out the back win back window, there's a pedophile outside, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it goes like, oh, uh, so which one is it this time? Izuku's like, oh, this time it's a clown, <laughs> and then Inko just says, oh. Is it a guy or is it a female? And then Jizuku just says, oh, uh, it's, it's, I think it's a guy. He just walks to the door and says, are you a guy? And immediately the clown from outside the door says, why don't you find out? And Izuku says, yeah, I think it is. And he just starts running towards the door, <laughs> the back door, just opens it, and just starts bolting to UA. While the clown's trying to find a way to get in. And then he just sees him bolting out the back door and he says, Bungie gum. <laughs> and just starts Spider-Man swinging through the streets, chasing after Midoriya. Midoriya's just like, ha, ah, I have a lot of, a lot of stamina by running. I've ran from tons of things. Ran from Bakugo, ran from Kurumi, ran from that random dog that won't stop chasing me. Oh, it's still chasing me. Just looks behind behind him and sees this dog with a with a collar just chasing after him with this one female who has like brown hair and has armor on for some reason chasing after him he immediately thinks in his head didn't i see her from the entrance exam and she says hey hey wait up i want to ask you a question well as you can says yeah i would wait up but there's a there's a like a clown spider-man pedophile thing chasing me and then she like looks up in the air and says not on my watch <laughs> and then she says kuro go then kuro just immediately starts growing like two times bigger than his normal size and just has muscles all over and izuku says how many steroids did you give that dog <laughs> and Ser seriu just looks at him and says well i, I may have given given him a like a a few Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I gave him, like, all of them. <laughs> then Izuku says, what do you mean by all of them? <laughs> and Hisoka just looks at the dog and says, nope, not today. <laughs> just starts swinging away like Spider-Man. And Kuro just starts chasing after him. And then when Kuro finally reaches up to him, just grabs him and yeets him. POV change. Currently, Bakugo is walking to UA, and then he sees Izuku with this one chick, and he, he immediately thinks, hmm, I see you've added another thing from another Yandere to your collection. Just keep it away from me, is what he thinks in his mind. Until he sees a giant dog throwing a clown. He thinks, oh, well, today is definitely a normal day. Until he sees, oh, wow, it's Ahsoka. Hey, he's coming right towards me. Oh, shit. And then Ahsoka just plows right into him. And immediately... Bakugo had his eyes closed. He opens his eyes and sees Hisoka just dead on top of him. <laughs> and immediately Hisoka says, Oh! A free Bakugo! He just picks him up and just starts running away. While Eraser Head, who's patrolling in the daytime this time, just because he was trying to get some more coffee, just looks and sees Bakugo being kidnapped by Hisoka again. And he thinks, Wow. Problem child. <laughs> Problem child. And he immediately starts running after him and says, Don't worry, I'll save you. <laughs> and then Hisoka just looks at him and says, No. He just starts swinging away. While that's happening, Izuku is currently staring at the chicken armor in front of him. And he says, So, is your dog going to stay like that? Izuku just looks at the big buff dog right next to him. That's like almost half the size of a building. And immediately, Serio says, No. He only stays like this whenever I let him stay like this. Immediately just tells Kuro just to go back into normal dog form. Kuro goes back into normal dog form and just immediately bolts towards Midoriya and just starts like walking around and everything. And Izuku says, I don't like this. <laughs> While Kuro 
girl just says, I don't like you. While Izuku says, did that dog just talk? And Suryo just says, uh, no, the dog didn't talk. Are, are you sure you're okay? You sure you didn't hit your head? And Izuku says, yeah, maybe I might have hit my head. While the dog just says, yeah, you probably did hit your head. And Izuku says, no, I heard it that time. <laughs> and then Suryo just says, we should get you to recover, girl. <laughs> just grabs him by the arm. And Izuku says, could you let go of my arm? I can go myself. She just immediately just starts bolting off. And Midoriya just starts screaming out, Help! Help! And then he just looks behind him to see Kurumi eating popcorn, just watching his suffering. And Izuku says, Help! He just starts saying that to Kurumi and says, You know what? If you help me, I'll owe you a great favor. And then Kirby just looks at him with a creepy, creepy, creepy smile. And Izuku just says, Never mind, never mind. But then Kirby says, Yeah, too late for that. She immediately just shoots Siryu direct, directly into the left shoulder, immediately pulling a hole through it. And Izuku says, I didn't mean to, to shoot her. <laughs> and immediately she says, well, I can just heal her afterwards. And Izuku's like, but you just put a hole in her shoulder. How are you going to heal that? And then immediately Kirby just looks at him and says, gun. Izuku says, gun. And then Siryu says, wait, what gun? Immediately gets shot in the shoulder again, and then he immediately heals. And Izuku looks towards her and says, Why weren't you screaming when your shoulder just got shot? And Zero just says, Well, uh, honestly, it didn't even really go through my shoulder. It, it barely pierced the armor. Immediately, Izuku just says, Hmm, are you sure you're okay, though? Just grabs Zero by the, by the hand after finally getting his hand free. Grabs her by the hand and starts dragging her to UA. <laughs> and then Kirby's just like skipping right beside Midoriya. Midoriya just doesn't even ha doesn't even register that Kirby's still there. <laughs> While well, just literally running all the way towards UA. And having Kirby just float creepily floating above him. And then everyone just looks at Izuku and says, Oh my god! Is that a stand? And then someone says, No, that that's just a creepy goth chick following this guy. While Kirby just gives that one guy a glare and says, I know where you live. Well, he says, you don't know where I live. And then she says, oh, really? POV change. Two hours after Izuku finally got into class 1A, he notices that Kirby's gone. POV change. Currently, the guy who called... <laughs> called Kurumi a creepy goth chick is walking home as soon as he opens the door and says honey I'm home and then he just says in his head oh I don't have a wife such as the lonely life and then immediately just sees Ahsoka pop out of pop out of the shadows and say hello there little girl while he says I I'm a guy and how did you get in my house immediately says Does it doesn't matter all that matters now is which way are you gonna take it? And immediately the guy says, "Which way am I gonna take what?" And Ahsoka just has a smile and says, "D's POV change." A few hours later, the guy's on the ground just crying, saying, "Why? Why I didn't even know I was so stretchy?" <laughs> and immediately Ahsoka says, "But I did." And he just looks towards him in a horrified face and says. Why would you do such a thing? And Izuka just says, Well, you see, a goth chick said that, well, she give me Bakugo's key to his house, so I decided, why not? Immediately the guy says, Who's Bakugo? And he says, No, it's Bakuho. POV change. Kurumi is currently entering cl the classroom of one at class 1a and izuku just looks towards her and says where have you been she just starts creepily giggling causing everyone to freak out and izuku says i, I don't even want to know never mind just don't tell me and then she says well you see this one creepy guy this one guy called me a creepy goth chick so i showed him a creepy clown guy and immediately bakugo says wait where's hasoka <laughs> and he, everyone just says uh Bakugo, you sure you want to ask that? Last time you asked, he appeared out of nowhere behind you. Bakugo says, that's not going to happen every time. And then he hears behind him, well, hello there. And Bakugo just turns behind him and says, I jinxed it, didn't I? And everyone just looks at him and nods.
And then All Might busts in and says, I'm coming in th through the door like a normal person. While Ezekiel says, you just came in the door like you had diarrhea. And this is the restroom. While All Might says, hey, that was kind of rude. And immediately Midoriya says, and what happened to your hair? And All Might says, wait, what do you mean? He looks looks into the reflection of his phone that he pulls out. And he sees that his head is completely shaved bald. And Ezekiel, he immediately says, what happened to my hair? And Kermi just has, like, a razor. Not even a razor. No, Kermi just has scissors, like, behind her back and says, I don't know. While All Might is screaming like a little girl running down the halls of UA getting laughed at. And then someone says, oh my god, All Might's evolved into Krillin. And All Might is just screaming, shut up, like a little girl and crying. While Midori here just says, what happened to his hair? He sees, he sees, uh... Kurumi half scissors behind her back, and he just looks at Kurumi and says, You did this, didn't you? While she says, You don't have any evidence about that. And then he says, There's scissors behind your back. And a raised her head who's in the classroom says, Uh, you know what? <laughs> that was hilarious. He just high fives Kurumi, and Bakugo says, says, No, you don't high five this. And then Kurumi just says, Why not? <laughs> and Izuku says, You just. You just made the symbol of peace turn into Krillin. You just made him to where his head is so reflective. I could see my face through it. And she said, and that's a problem. Why? I mean, people can now, you know, check their hair and everything through his, through his, the back of his head. Plus, hey, his, his smile now matches the shine of his head. While Midoriya just looks at her and just says, you're really messed up, aren't you? And she looks at him and says, I murder people. No, no, no. She says, bitch, I murder people. <laughs> While Izuku just looks at her and says, wait, what? And then Eraserhead said, uh, you know what? Uh, I would try to, you know, put you in jail, but for that statement, but, uh, I'm not even going to attempt it because I already know what's going to happen. <laughs> and that's the end of what if Deku had a Yandere quirk part seven.